Through HPV testing as the primary cervical cancer screening mode, we are making screening for cervical cancer easier, we're making it more accessible, and we're making it more accurate. A first of its kind in Canada, cervix self-screening kits at your door. On Tuesday, the province announced that BC will transition away from traditional pap tests to HPV-based screening for cervical cancer. It's quick, it's easy, it's more accurate than the traditional method of testing and it's good for a longer period of time than a pap test. The province says the new tests are nearly twice as accurate as the screening done in BC now, with data from BC Cancer showing the test detects pre-cancer cells 96% of the time, current screening only 53%. Unlike the conventional cytology test or pap test, which looks for abnormal changes in the cervix itself, HPV testing looks for the virus that causes these abnormal changes to occur. So here's how the program works. So eligible patients will be invited to participate and they'll receive a letter in the mail that says uh, you're due for cervical cancer screening. If you'd like to do this at home, here's a QR code or here's a phone number you can call and request the kit. Instead of having to go to the doctors for a pap test, which takes cells that are then examined in the lab, with these kits, you self-swab and return by mail. The government says results will be returned within four to six weeks. The province says every year around 200 people in BC are diagnosed with cervical cancer and hopes this will encourage more people to get screened. Before I even got the test results showing I had a high risk type of HPV, I had a call from my gynecologist. From there, I had a biopsy and a procedure to remove the cancerous tissue from my cervix. And by the time uh, my 50th birthday came in December, I was cancer free. The province says these tests are so sensitive they're only needed every five years as opposed to every three for the PAP. Should you be in the position of finding that you have a positive result and you do not have a doctor to follow up with, you will be guided to someone like me. And if that's the case, then I'll see you in the office. The program starts January 29th with people 55 and older. The age will be lowered over time to eventually include all who are eligible. In Vancouver, Kate Walker, City News.